This is this is bad, you know. And the Cobra went to Diageo's house. It all makes sense now. To deflect. Went to his house. Yeah, yeah. To deflect. Nah, this guy's not normal. <laughs> not normal. It's not normal. No. Bro, by the time this thing done out, I'll MF, I'm 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 I fire probably the pandemic case to us, bro. <laughs> because it's sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny, yeah? Imagine if AR went outside the school, yeah, to promote music. You these TikTok lot would have you <laughs> like they yeah. were insane. Oh, yeah. oh just I'm one school, not just one school. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, if AR go out on school and promote music, me myself with our bunny mouth. <laughs> yeah, come on, brother. Like you don't do me that. Me myself with our bonfire upon him. Like seriously, bro, that's weird shit. Yeah, don't, don't even come into a full process to go to. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's man. a weird, 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 weird shit, bro. It's a weird thing. Like to me to say, yeah, I'm going to a school today. Cool, nah, bro. I'm gonna chill with the kids and rap to them. What, brother? Come on, that's, that's mad. Do that, man. It's not in your full process to be thinking like that. You you got to remember, yeah, he didn't even get invited, so he's had to consciously go out of his way to With find out where all the schools are, yeah, what streets yeah. they're on. Yeah. He's had to sit there. He didn't just he didn't just get in his car and just drive. He's gone he to only, every school. Everything was gone. planned out. It was planned out. And, and no, no, he's no, got no, a different no, no. outfit on, different days. So different he didn't day. One not, day. Not one day. Not one day thing. <laughs> yep. Every school finishes at a certain time. Yes, yeah. that's what I was about to say. They all finish around. It's like a week or two week thing. Yes. You took your week out to go to every school. You took your day, the day, the day, the day, the day, the day, every day. Every school finished at 3 30, 4 o'clock, whatever. By the time you went to one school and did a video, most of the schools are finished, you know? Yeah. So you. Well, it well, took you weeks. But he's even got different outfits on each time he's outside different schools. So you know that they're all on different days anyway. So no, he, watch, this, watch, not... this, watch this, watch this, watch this. No, no, be real. Zed, Zed. By the time you go pick up your kids, yeah? And you and you pick up your kids in, in one school in London. By the time you pick up your kids and go home, like you're getting in the car, most people are getting in their cars and going home. There's no one left at the school, right? Yeah. Vinka, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's not hop left. Everyone is yeah, got kids. It wasn't in our centre. It wasn't like, say, it was at a centre somewhere. It's on the streets. Always, yeah. It's on the streets outside the school. So watch this. By the time you get your kid, get in the car with your kid and start heading out. Everyone's getting their kids in. There's no really one around after a good 20 minutes. There's no one around. Everyone's no, empty. What the, the school's empty. So watch this. For him to go to a school, record it, be there, rapping, 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 rapping. I'll be honest with you. He's probably got one school a day. Yeah, of course. One school a day. You can't get two schools in. You can't look. Uh, you look, can't. even or any parent will vouch that if you've got two kids that go to two separate schools, you can't be not late for the other because it's too impossible and to get there on time. It's too exactly, exactly. So think oh, about it. one school. He filmed about twenty schools. Different days, different outfits. Like it's, it's, it's that not. That makes it's it not, more weirder now. That makes it's not, it more He just weird. got in his car. He didn't just get in his car and go and dash out his CD. He's proper premeditated to think, I need to go to this school, this school. What? Yeah, that's even, what I'm saying. He didn't even went to He's even picked an all girls school, an all girls teenage school in there. There's one school in there, which I showed on the camera. It's an all girls teenage school. Yeah, so that's even more mad. Mad, you know? Like, you know the weirdest thing? You know what's creepy about it? You know yeah. what's really creepy about it is that. He didn't go to a town center where no, there's there would be a lot of adults, there would exactly. be a lot of other type of people, police, security guard. It would be too crowded. Hello. What? Can someone send me this video? No, listen, listen to me, listen to me, Gemma. Go to my page and go to my video. It's, it tells you where to go. God. Just go to my page and watch it. It's quick. I'm dumb. I'm dyslexic. Just go to my page and watch this. I don't even seconds. know how to get out of here. Get me out of here now. Kick me out. Oh, cool, 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 cool. sake, man. So my- Everyone, go to my page and watch it, man. Um, <laughs> the more you think about it, the more creepy it's got, actually. Yeah, it's, it's serious, serious, man. It's, it's more serious. creepy because you've got, you've got to remember that you've got to come out of your way to find schools. Yeah. <laughs> And you're driving there. You can't just drive and you just turn. You're just gonna see schools everywhere. You, Look, you kids coming up. Kids yeah. coming up to school. Yeah. yeah, and they linger for about half an hour. 
No, no because kids. No to... parents. So where's all the par- Where's all these kids' parents? Are these the kids that walk home on their own? Because there's two types. Yeah, of but kids the thing school. is, even they walk on them own, they they must stay there for long because most of yes, these kids, it's exactly. primary school, so they can't stay for long. You exactly. know that AR, the kids that get picked up, they go straight home. The kids I that don't get picked up, they're loiter outside. They're loiter for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. 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 then after a while, it gets empty. Come on, man, we all been school. That's so why then... I put all of the details then. Bro, yeah. why you got... Listen, this is what my people understand. But right, he's got... No, no, no. Yoddy, yoddy. He's got a paper with every school on. We've written down with the address. Yeah, but, but the thing is, what I'm saying, bro... Imagine they checked his yard, yeah, and he's got a literal piece of paper with schools written on it. No, he has. Yeah, 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 he has. He's, he's got it in the video. He's everything in it. Said he's got it in the video. On the, on what, the, the YouTube paper? Video. He's got, on the YouTube video, he's got every school on the paper with the note, with the, with his postcodes. No, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that, that alone is that's wrong, crazy. bro. That's crazy. That alone is wrong. What? A grown man and you've Ticking not even off. got kids. Ticking them off. You're not Ticking even them a parent. Them off. Where's your kids? You don't even have a, you can't even say your kid goes to any of these schools. It's more crazy that he's documented it. Oh. You think bro, that's but you know the funniest you thing is, remember I know, bro, they put him details on these CDs, bro. And appear primary school kids. So they contacted. That's all it is. Wait, wait, you. What business? What you know business? No one used to put on the CD it was like their MySpace or their, yes, MySpace, their MySpace, MySpace or their phone number. I remember yeah. you used to yeah. see they say my MySpace, yeah. my phone number on there. Bro, him can't go no. Let me tell you why him go a university okay. or college. Because I... certain most Adam um, older girl, right. them got more mature for, for kind of easier from like uncle, back up, uncle. You know what I mean? So I'm going for the younger one, they were more vulnerable. Let me tell you something, yeah? Let me tell you something. What business does an 11-year-old, 12-year-old listen have to listen to my music? What business does an mm. 11-year-old... That's what I'm saying. Gonna, what, what relatable kind of thing? Come on, man. The man said, him, him, listen to him said on him live, yeah? He was promoting his music, so when the kids them left school, them can't buy music. Brother, at, 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 at next eight years before them picking to leave school. And there's violence. You're promoting violence. You're not promoting violence. Violence on top of it as well. Like, so, so you basically yeah. groom young kids to become criminals then. If you're going to go down that route, then if, yeah. if that's the route you're going to say, you're trying to promote your music. So you literally have a try to turn kids into criminals by the music where you have promoted them. Because he can't even say that now. Because he, 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 yeah, he, you know he, he hit two dead ends. Anywhere, bro, say, bro. He can't say that he's helping the kid them. No, because there's no helping. You're not promoting goodness. So that's a, that's a fail. You're pure out grooming, man. You're my man say, my the realest thing from the app, you know. But, but I'm glad my fake. I'm telling you now, he's going to try and make it look like he was doing a good thing at the school. But that's what he was trying to say. What good thing? Because we all know there's no good there. What good thing? And you know, the funniest thing, there's so much people over there and I'm comments. I say, oh, oh. they did this. Hey, are them, them, that, them, this, them, that. But I love if, if they see a guy talking to their look 11 year old, giving them exactly. rapping to them. How would they feel them. about that? But because that guy would have been a stranger, they, they would have done him bad. But because this person wouldn't know, oh, it's yeah. okay for him to give other people kids candy and CD with, yeah. it, with, his, with his contact details on it. This is some of the people on TikTok who don't need to wake up and alive. Mad. Who don't just need to wake up and alive. Seriously. Mm-mm. Go on YouTube, everyone's on YouTube, innit? But go to my fa- go to my page and I'll tell you how to get there. Go on YouTube, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's done, bro. He's finished, you know. He's finished, he's finished, he's finished. Finished. Diadro got Diadro got cancelled. Not even well. Diadro got a, a Diadro got a stampede outside his house for less. There was a big protest outside Diadro's house for less. And you know what he was mad? He defended him and said that he didn't do nothing wrong. <sighs> oh, being, in the, being in the same bed as Cheyenne is wrong enough. But, you know, the past few two years, we've seen lots of celebrities come out P Diddy that they're all wrongins, yeah. Because mm. of this same behavior, what this man's doing, the same exact things, taking young vulnerable girls yeah. Yeah. that have big fan bases and exploiting them. That's all it is. But the thing is, we're not talking about, about P Diddy and, and this and that, bro. Listen, I'm not about P Diddy. Not about Shine and this and that, bro. But I tell him, say. There's probably the worse a case than Cheyenne. We are younger than Cheyenne, been in that bedroom, bro. 
And and yeah, and they're older now. Trust me. You know what I mean? I can see it. I can see it coming. Because this man tell them so oh I'm a big top producer and him can help them. Yeah, you famous. He, give them everything. he yeah. said the same thing to Cheyenne. Oh I, I, Cheyenne's going far. He said it in the video yesterday. Cheyenne, Cheyenne going far and yeah, ask Bong so I'll put it up on a fucking platform, you social media platform. Graham Daly. Who Graham Daly, Daly. yeah, big fuck up on Graham Daly, yes, yes, yeah, 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 you can't get out of nowhere. Cheyenne herself could have reached my grand deal without you. She can just <laughs> she can just make a song with that with no with not even proper studio. Deal. I've got videos on Grand you know Deal. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyone can get on Grand Deal. Yeah, like so so you know, add up then. So we are tell we so there's a promise them, we are promise these young because girls you cannot fulfill them. So why are you telling them these things? Because you want to seduce them. You want to make mm. them feel like say you was a big top of the top. You know? Bro, you you are the the, 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 the two P did it, bro. You had a washdown, yeah. Brock, Brock, Brock P. Did he? You know what I mean? She had him, the universal credit, um, S. Epstein. <laughs> and this is mad, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's a long day for him tomorrow, you know? And, and in the videos as well, he's got his hands around all the kids. He's got, he's got, they got the hand around all the kids in the schools. Yes. Like this. Like this. Come here. I like you. What? And the kid, there's a bit in the video where the kids, he say, come, come, rap here, come, rap. The kid's like, nah, man, come, man, rap, man. You pressuring the kid, them. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. They're, they're sick. Them sick, 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 bro, man. Me, not, me, not, me in a man's sense, me can't, me couldn't feel comfortable doing that. I don't even feel comfortable being around kids, bro. One of mine. After, after what your, after what your so-called brother apparently did to your sister, yeah? How you mm. how you end up turning out to then be around so much kids as well? It makes it, 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 you get it's it. It's so dodgy. Mm. Being woman got the yard. Then you invite someone to your house. You know that they're going to sleep there. You give them drugs. You give them alcohol. And then after you go tell them, so oh, I demand them bed. So if you know they were going to come and stay, why you never tell the man them to lift up or tell the man them say, listen, the whole I'm going to play with the bars and pan up on one bed in your room there yeah. and the girl must have one room for themselves. Yeah, I'm 33. I can never be seen around Cheyenne. Man, Cheyenne don't even look at her age. Cheyenne look way younger than her age. Yeah, I said that. She's not even like looking like a... She's not a 20-year-old that looks 30. She's, nah. She actually genuinely looks young. She looks 16. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just acts young as well. Yeah, so, bro. Mr. The boxing being around with young girls like that anyway. Yeah, do you know, you know, I even clocked about that YouTube video, yeah. Mm. You know, some you know them parents probably don't even know. No, they don't. Kids, don't. Hey. Because yes, when they don't kids know. go to school, yeah, there's a whole thing about data protection and you have to have permission from the parents, right? And even if you take your kid to a concert that's like eleven plus yeah, these I know the rappers, fear. you have to be with the adult if you're under the age of eighteen. No mm. So these kids oh. You gotta remember when kids are in year seven to eleven, some of them go home on their own and some of them get picked up. Yeah. These are the ones that have been left behind that are loitering, walking home on their they're own. Filmed by him. And their mom and dads do not know that they're on this YouTube video no, where no. it's showcasing what school they're from, which shows what area you live in. Yeah. That is a safeguarding yeah. thing. Yeah. Them, 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 them kids that listen to one I think, yeah, some, some parents are gonna find out about this from my life, I reckon. And that's what's them kids, isn't it? Them their kids. Hey, listen, listen to this. No, yeah. Hey, listen, like I just said, yeah, I don't ever like saying this, but I only say it when it's true. Yeah. And I swore my mother's life. You understand this? I don't need to lie, you know. I brought Yadi on my on my son's life, bro. You understand me? Mm. I'm watching the video just now, and I said to you earlier, the you I punched up in jail. I, I Oh yeah, 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 I said, I said. The guy come on the wing and he bullied and this is a big you. But I had to quiff him. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. And he was rude. He's a rude, arrogant guy from East London, isn't it? Brother, this was just before I come out recently. This was mm -hmm. this was in the mount, yeah? Brother, I just watched him on the laptop just now. Him as a little 16, 15 year old rapping. And I'm thinking, hey, look, hey, look, look, D, see D1, see D1 who mm -hmm. just sent the rolls. You see D1 that just sent the rolls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there when I punched up my man. And if you don't no, believe no, me, no, AR. no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Yadi, yadi, yadi. Mm -hmm. See the guy who just sent the rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. He was there when I punched up the guy on the wing, and he can come up now and tell you. Yeah, uh, that's mad. Okay, so watch this. Watch this.
Do you understand? So I'm going around giving these CDs to the to giving these exactly. CDs. I gave 250 CDs to every school. It took me six months to do this. Yeah, every single day for six months to do this school run. I called it the school run because I was fucking running around all the schools. Do you understand? And um, I got obviously exactly there the weren't kids, no TikTok. Loads of the kids people already saying, knew yeah. who I was. Do you understand? They they all there weren't no camera phones that really back then. It was I was using a proper camera, like a proper video camera. The, the camera phones were a bit shit. Do you know what I mean? But um, uh. All, all the kids, like a lot of them was rappers and whatever. And then in, like, there was in, the, I'm talking about in the hood, like in Hackney and them, I bet these were like little gangster kids and like, they were probably hard, hard rap rappers, you know what I'm saying? So obviously we got them spitting the bars on the camera and shit like that, giving them a platform to, 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 you know, show their talents as young kids. You get me? And it was perfectly fine. There was no, People saying, oh, did you have permission for this? Yes, I did. I asked everybody's permission if everybody else is, is it okay if we film? Is it okay if I film me doing this? And they was like, yeah, 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 cool, 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 whatever. No problem. And it was all professional. And um, when they wanted me to rap to them, I did a little rap to them. My, one of my boys was with me. He did a rap to them. Uh, there was quite a few people that came came along with me on different days. So, I mean, always big people, respectable people, never no issues, no problems. It was a big, massive, giant promotional thing what I did. I gave out 150,000 CDs to, to, to 200 schools around London and then after that I went and printed out another 100,000 yeah so that's 250,000 we're talking about all together and then I went and did every single city in the UK and I gave out 2,000 CDs to every single city in the UK every single city that's how much hard work and effort I was putting into on my grind and I filmed most of those things as well you get me um I'm not even sure if most of them online you might be able to find some of them online as well yeah Every every single city I went and did, every city, like every major city. And I I just wanted to get myself out there so bad. This is I was so determined to get myself out there. I never had no management at the time. I never really knew what I was doing. I was just doing it. Do you understand? I was just thinking that by the end of this, if I give out that many CDs to that many people and that many whatever, by the end of this, I'm bound to be fucking like really, really well known. Do you understand? And I really was. I was. I got really well known after that, obviously, from all that shit. And then what else happened after that? Uh, that's when I ended up meeting someone else where I live now who, who was managing me and I decided to change my name. And the reason I changed my name was because as Mr. Nice, I was a bit of a confused artist. I like to jump on too many different genres of sounds and different beats. One minute I was a rapper. Next minute I was on house music. Next minute I was doing an R&B song. I thought I was Craig David. And um, it was confusing for people. Like, what are you? Are you a rapper? Are you a singer? Are you this? And I didn't know. I was confused. I was just doing that many different styles of music. I was lost. And plus, when you typed in Mr. Nice into Google, all you would get is a book called Howard Marks. And um, if anyone knows who Howard Marks is, type in Mr. Nice, you know who that is. Yeah, you get pages and pages and pages of it. And then also the next thing you get is another film called uh, Mr. Nice, Jackie Chan. Pages and pages of that before you even get close to me. So I had no choice when, when I had new management, he, he advised me, oh, you need to change your name so you can, your name can come up in Google. Do you understand? That was the main reason, one of the main reasons why I changed my name. And it took me a while to find, to find Cobra Kane. But when I found it, that was the one. And I ain't never changing it ever again because Cobra Kane is the name. You get me? It's not about mods don't like the truth. People are talking stuff that's not making sense. Don't you think if people do something wrong, they get arrested. If people actually was going out with intentions to do them things, I get it. But people on TikTok are making things sound different to what actually happened. Anyone trying to promote themselves, anything, it's, it, you're going on like people was out trying to talk to kids or trying to get them to come studio. That weren't nothing like that. They didn't even, weren't using studio like that then, getting people around like that then. It was 14 years ago. And he's not 49. That's what people are forgetting. They keep saying these ages, making him sound older and making it sound worse and making it sound... They're making things sound worse. You lot are listening to rubbish. That's not even true. No, anyone, none of us have anyone, ever been arrested for out there, any kind relay. of women or kid things ever in our life. Anyone of you will never happen. It's my never going to happen. Any one of you. Huh? Any one of you out there, say my real age. Like, people ain't got a clue what they're actually talking about. Like. Ugh. So the thing is, uh, uh, 
if you don't understand a promotional uh, thing when you see it, then, you know, can't help you. You go check out the video. Everyone check out the video for yourself. Forget what AR is saying. Oh my God, why do you forget what music with girls? Yeah. You know, how you many tunes do. you got with guys? What, what you need to do just with girls. Watch the video for yourself and you decide whether it's dodgy. Watch it with a, a clear mind, not one of them mind thinking, a mind that AR's giving you to like, you know, entice you to think the worst. Just watch it properly. Come on. You're all you're all real people. Right, you don't need to, to listen to AR. Go and watch the video for yourself. And please go out there and actually come back with some real evidence. AR is trying his worst, he's trying his best, whatever you want to call it. Go and find some real evidence because all this fake stuff what you're coming out with, you can go onto my Instagram, you can try and make me look bad, make me look like a perv, all that stuff that you're trying to make me look like. It's not going to work, bro. It's only going to work for a few narrow-minded, uh, dead-minded people that you're, you've are you got in your lives that are actually listening. The real ones that are in your lives listening, they're probably thinking, this is a bit far-fetched, like, you know what I mean? Because you're clutching for straws, bro. You're getting a bit carried away. And the problem is you've got all these people that are coming into your lives telling lies about me. And these lies are going to get exposed so easy, bro, because they're actual lies. Do you understand? Like, the truth always comes out in the end, do you understand? Real recognise real. And not one of you out there can actually come with some actual facts, evidence, facts. I'm talking about real evidence, not, oh, Chelji said this about you. Chelji said the, your mod said this about you. People oh. like don't even know you or not like really, just know you That's from TikTok. None, none of you have not, well, I have not seen one shred of evidence on AR's life. That's why I'm laughing. I'm just like, well, he's wasting his time because I've not seen one shred of evidence. All I've seen is hearsay, she say. No, and, people and, making and stuff showing, look like something. Yeah, no, exactly. And him trying to make stuff look like this and that. And you've even got people in there saying that Cobra Kane's got Cobra Kane's got kids that he can't see anymore and stuff like that, or he's not allowed to see and stuff like that. Like, why would people make up stuff like that when Cobra Kane has no kids? Yeah, I would never deny having kids. I was never denying my kids. I don't have any kids in this in this on this earth and this planet maybe in my dream somewhere but i don't have kids people all right i'm single i don't have any kids all right i don't i'm, a, I'm an orphan i lost my mum three three years ago my dad four years ago I'm, I'm a normal person i've never hurt anyone in my life yes i've knocked out quite many people along the way in boxing matches and this that and, rah, 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 and whatever whatever you know i used to be a bit of a g when i was younger but, but that was when i was a kid do you understand? I'm talking about when I was like 16, 17, I used to be a madman. <laughs> but then you grow out of that. Do you know what I mean? When you get older, you grow out and you mature. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I, I'm just laughing at all this stick that you lot are trying to put out about me because until you lot can bring something to the table, something real, then you are clutching at straws. Every single one of you are clutching at straws. Like people are trying to get rise, I can see that, but I'm not rising you if I don't know, if you don't know me personally, it's pointless being rising him because um, unless you're going to come up here and be sensible, then it's pointless rising you because all I've got is people coming here trying to twist up stuff. Do you understand? Trying to do the whole AR thing. And I, this, that, that live ain't about this. This live ain't about AR's live. AR's on live right now, probably still watching me. He's got his live going on. If you want to get up in the box, go in his box. Do you know what I mean? Unless you actually want to come up in my box and talk some real sense. And not know he say she say shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, anyone can make anyone look like any, anything. Do you know what I mean? I could do a lot of things. I could start doing things to people. I could start doing things to AR and start bringing up all his past. And everyone knows his past. And you know what I mean, he's actually been arrested and done for some some of these kind of weird things that people don't like on this app. Do you understand? He's actually been done for that. Had charges for that and whatever whatever else. And I ain't, mate. I've never been done for DV. I've never been done for grape. I've never been done for um, child abuse. I've never been done for anything like that, ever, ever. I got like four or five charges and I can tell you every single one of them. <laughs> and it's some real gangster shit. And if you don't believe me, go and do your fucking homework. <laughs> go find out my date of birth, because it's out there somewhere. Go find out my full name, because it's out there somewhere. Go do your homework. I ain't on no list, yeah? I ain't on no Claire's Law, all right? I ain't on none of these things that you lot are trying to portray me to be. All right? The only mistake I made was the other day, right? I've apologized for my mistake. And I said, from now on, it's always, I'm gonna keep it professional. I'm not gonna get drunk and make those stupid mistakes again. And either you're on board or you're not. Do you know what I mean? Either you're with me or you're not. Do you know what I mean? But all this malarkey, what's going on now, all this extra malarkey, this is just people. Do you know what? For some reason, my name seems to be hot topic right now. Hot topic. 
I'm talking like super hot topic and everyone's just jumping on me. And it's not just jumping on no, me. You know what the worst is? Well, one thing, sorry, no, no. When, he's, when AR said, um, <laughs> um, oh, uh, going on about Diadro, yeah, people got to remember there was messages from Diadro. There was evidence. These are talking about stuff and about a promotional thing that was a promotional thing but no one was talking to anyone there's no messages there's no nothing else there's no there's no actual having intercourse of anyone or doing anything there's nothing gone on with anybody at all nobody's going to come forward he keeps saying oh someone's going to come forward i know it's going to happen how because it's never going to happen because it's never happened ah. like it doesn't make sense like what, what are you talking about yo you say yeah, cobra you say like I was saying to you, brother, earlier, yeah? Like, you're one of the persons that's actually tried to help Cheyenne fulfill one of her dreams. Because I don't know if anybody here could remember Cheyenne back in the day. She always wanted to, to, to do rapping and try rapping, but she'd never, ever got about to doing it. You know what I mean? And like you said, how, how are you actually doing, bro? How are you doing? How, how are you feeling? Do you know what? Surprisingly... I'm in quite a good mood because I, like watching AR's live for a bit, at first it did wind me up. And then the more I watched it, I started to realize how deep and how obsessed this guy is with me. And I realize he's not straight anymore. He's obviously not straight, but let's not, that's a whole nother, nother no, story. No, it's obvious. What is he actually trying to prove? Like, what's he forget, trying to prove? Think about it logically in your brain. Forget the jokes You know what all I can say to you, Cobra, from, from, from not on? <laughs> <laughs> video yeah. document like keep video record of everything you do from no one so if I anything do. so, so I, if I, anything was to come out in the open you've got your back up you you've got your backup bro but what could come out there's nothing to come out because nobody i'm not saying there's well. anything to come out bro but literally because now the way you're doing is like you have to come here and give justification to these people you don't have to do nothing bro mm. yeah the I'm fact you're saying. wasting your time someone just said it in the bottom there here, that is huh? exactly what AR is doing, people. You do know that. He's trying, he's trying to get more get subscribers more money, more and views. That's what it's all about. He, he'll use anyone. He, listen, I'm Hot Topic today, all right? Next week, someone else will be Hot Topic, all right? So he's, he's rinsing me out as much as he can and he's going as far as he can to, to get as much moves, as subscribers as he can. This is what he's doing. If you lot can't see that, then you lot need to, you know, maybe learn how TikTok works and stuff. You little think think that me and Shy and Kipsy was all scripted. Do you get me? That's what you little think. See, what the, what you lot don't realise is um, Kipsy was online calling me this, calling me that, whatever, whatever, saying he was going to do this to me and all that. But you see, I'm a bigger man. You get me? I'm not going to gonna, gonna um, switch on Kipsy because I know Kipsy was pissed off because he thought I was taking his ex-girlfriend away from him. Do you understand? When that wasn't the case. Do you understand? So he was just angry with me and thinking rah, rah, and putting out all kinds of shit about me. So how can I be angry at him for that? I don't know him personally like that. I can't hate him like that. I don't. I can't be angry at the guy like that. Do you understand? I'm not going to go and do something to that guy because because he's, he's saying all kinds of stuff about me. So this is when when I met him in person and he realised how cool I was. He didn't even need to shout anymore. He realised, oh, Cole was actually cool. He's actually no, he's actually a cool guy. And he was actually he actually apologised to me. Said, oh, sorry, bro. I didn't like. I didn't realise you were so cool. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like. He expected a, a confrontation or something. And then that's not what he got because that's not who I am. Do you understand? And um, same as with like that, see uh, like all these, these bad-minded people, what they're doing. I could play the same game. Do you not think I could play the same game? All everyone's numbers has been outed. I, I, do you know whose numbers? I have everyone's phone numbers, like, like quite a lot of people's phone numbers. And they've all been hating on me recently. I could just out all their phone numbers right now just to be a cunt. Do you know what I mean? So I do apologize for that word, um, but I'm not that guy. Do you know what I mean? I would never do that. Even though Chelsea put my number up and I've had like about 50 million phone calls today from private numbers, um, I wouldn't do that. I still wouldn't do that to her. I wouldn't do it. I would never do it because it's just not who I am. You just, it's just one thing. There's this don't, there's moral, like you, people say about morals. And this is what I, I do. Why have, would anyone want to send you know to I mean? an OF? Like, fuck it. Oh, you can watch shit for free online. Who's going to, if you really wanted to watch fucking PH, that oh, yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Oh, yeah. Just oh, go yeah. Watch oh, yeah. Let's get back to this. Yeah. Like, that was one point. Dude. I forgot about that one. The Kipsy and the OF thing. The, 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 the only you friends thing. Um, oh, I mean, funny, but let me tell you this, people. Yeah. I have never signed up to anyone's only friends ever in my life, never, ever anyone's, never mind about uh, shies, 
anybody's. Do you understand? So this is why I find that one absolutely hilarious. Kipsy was angry, yeah? He just wanted to say what he said. How could Kipsy even, you know, tell Kipsy to prove it? Because if Kipsy knew that, yeah, he would have had access to her uh, only friends. Am I correct, people? That's the only way Kipsy could have known that I'm subscribed to his only friends. Tell me if I'm right or tell me if I'm wrong. Am I correct? Even if you hate me or you don't like me, answer that question. Am I right or am I wrong? Does Kipsy need to have access to her only friends to know that I'm a subscriber? Yes or no? Let's just, just let's just assume that everyone's thinking yes because I can't wait for the fucking comments right now. So if that's the case, then that means Kipsy's still got access to it because Kipsy wasn't with Cheyenne at the time, was he? So Kipsy must still have access to Shy's only friends. Am I right or am I wrong? Please answer me. Now, that being said, people, I hope this is on the FYP in the morning. That being said, people, everybody go and ask Kipsy to show the evidence, to show how he knows. Everybody go and ask Kipsy. Kipsy, can you show the world, TikTok, how you know Cole Kane is a subscriber? Where's the evidence? How do you know this? That's what I want everyone here to do. Because... I ain't gonna say any more. Just go and do it. Nobody, nobody I mean. chills with Cheyenne. Cheyenne makes music and goes home when she's ready. She's a twenty-one-year-old girl that can do do what she wants. She's not trying to do anything with big men, and big men ain't trying to do nothing with her because that's not how life works. As a normal human being with morals, you wouldn't think any other way. But if you think other ways, or you want to make up stories like that, obviously you've got fantasies like that, and that's how you think in your head because. You see, normal well, people this don't one, think this that. This salty person thinks we're deflecting it. See, how can I deflect anything? Like, I've just given you the realness of it. If I'm wrong, listen, did anyone in here think that I was just trying to deflect the situation then? How more real can I be? Kipsy. That's what happens. Kipsy, yeah, that's the facts. To something to know that I'm a subscriber. Obviously, he has to have access to something. So if he has that access, he will be able to show you the proof. Everybody, isn't it? 